Hi co-creators, it's Donna here. Maybe short hair? What do you think? Um, I haven't really done anything with it today. I am from the wash it and brush it and leave it school of hair management. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, it's not exactly... <laughs> actually, it looks a mess, doesn't it? Never mind, it looks better than that when it's actually properly brushed and styled. Um, but there you go. You can probably hear in my voice uh, that uh, my voice isn't very well. I went to a gig last night and um, it was it was all right. Feeder were on, supported by Fight Star. Fight Star were good, uh, and Feeder were okay. If I'd never seen them before, I would have thought they were okay, dodgy sound. Um, but because I have seen them before, I was pretty. It was pretty ordinary, actually. Uh, nothing, nothing to write home about. The best thing, well, <laughs> this is not really a good thing to happen, but um, the most entertaining thing was that their um, mixing desk, the on-stage one, where they can hear one another, uh, blew up twice. Uh, the first time it was like, okay, and they're like, we've just got to reboot it, <laughs> talk amongst yourselves, kind of thing. And you know they they're, they're uh, an indie rock band. They're not particularly um, you know stand-up comedians or anything. <laughs> not very good at interacting with the audience for five minutes. And in the end, they had to go off and come back on again. Um, the second bit that they came back on to do was a lot better. In the first section, they actually um, ruined a, a favourite song of mine. I, I absolutely love it, and I was so surprised. I thought, oh my god, that's the first time I've seen you, and uh, you know, I was I was looking, I couldn't see anyone on the stage anyway. I'm five foot six, and um, at the place I went to in Birmingham, if if you are any shorter than about five foot ten, you can't see anyone on the stage unless you're right at the front. So, <laughs> so I couldn't see a thing, but um, but yeah, I was kind of looking around, and I wasn't I wasn't really paying attention, so it wasn't it wasn't all that. The second part though was quite good, but then when the mix and desk went again, ooh, riots, another one. Um, but everyone in the crowd was getting slightly antsy. You know, there's, uh, there's a, a guy shouting, like really shouting at the stage, you suck, I want my money back. And I thought, all right, outrageous. Chill out. You know, it's disappointing, but what can you do? The thing blew up. Um, and someone came out to announce there'd be no more music. A few people headed off, but most of us didn't believe him. Luckily, as it turned out, because they came back on again uh, about three minutes later. And uh, for the poor people who left, oh, get it, don't announce there'll be no more music until there will be no more music. Do you know what I mean? What a thing to do. Anyway, so um, yeah, then they came back on again, and it was really because the mood of the crowd had changed at that point as well. It was like, the first time it was like, oh, bless him, you know, it's fine. The second time, the mood of the crowd was like, Rrr. it was quite aggressive. But they're quite, um, they've got some quite rocky, bouncy songs, so, so there were people like, oh, getting really into it. It was, it was noisy. Uh, it was quite funny. And um, I was stood... Um, I could actually see in the third bit. I was like, yeah, I can see them. <laughs> Fantastic. I didn't even realise they were there at first. Um, but where I was stood, I had two really tall guys next to me, both of whom were bouncing up and down. It was like being surrounded by trees on acid. It was just weird. I had to move in the end because it was just like, ah. And one of the guys had the least rhythm I've ever seen in a person. But he was jumping up and down really fast. Bizarre. Anyway, so... <laughs> So uh, this last night I hardly slept at all, and my throat from you know cheering and singing along. And when they did get better, I was singing along. And they, you know, it is a very like ah, <laughs> kind of, um, or it can be if you're me and getting really into it. And so my throat is really dodgy today. Uh, so I've got a client in a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to go back to bed for the afternoon because I'm knackered. Which brings me to the point of this video. Um, your only job is to feel good. If we believe in the law of attraction and we believe in vibration and we believe in good feelings attracting more good feelings, then your only job is to feel better. Now I had lots of plans for this afternoon of what I would do because I've got a free afternoon, no clients, um, 
lots of writing, really get on with stuff. But you know what? I'm bloody knackered. I'm going to bed for the afternoon. And I don't care who knows. So if you're watching this, I'm asleep. Sing me a lullaby. Bye. <laughs> Speak to you soon. Oh, feel good.